Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you a glitch that will provide you with infinite plank, granite, and cord. What you're going to need for this uh, glitch is a small dynamic foundation and a large driver's seat. Um, I do recommend um, uh, for this glitch, in case you don't want to be starving to death while you do it, you make sure that you have either a regeneration charm or some food at hand so that you, know, you don't die while you're doing this. Alright, for the dynamic foundation, we're going to need some flex wood. Uh, you only need two flex wood for the small one. I recommend the small one. Just in case you don't have enough materials, you can uh, just use this one. And you're going to need the materials for the driver's seat. And I recommend the large driver's seat because it has a more plank, so it will provide you with more plank. Alright, let's get started with this glitch. So what you're going to do is place down the dynamic foundation. I recommend um, in case uh, you end up pushing it around too much like I do and it's pretty annoying um, that you place down some granite foundations around it like these small ones just so that it if it moves it just moves a little bit and within inside of these uh, granite foundations that we placed around it. That way it doesn't move them like way over there or something like that. Uh, after you place down the dynamic foundation, we're going to go ahead and place down the driver's seat. Um, you need to do this in a way that it hangs off of the dynamic foundation and not on it because if you don't do it right, it will happen like something like this. You're going to have to be uh, taking it down every single time, which is pretty annoying. You don't want that to happen. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to place it in the very, very corner that you see right there. It's a little small triangle right there that's where you're going to try to place it and how you're going to make sure that this is what's happening is you're going to uh, nudge it a little bit like this and um, in case you don't know if it's right there or not you just move it until it turns red and that's how you know that it's right there in the edge and that's how we start the glitch i do recommend whenever you're doing this glitch um, uh, when you pick up all your materials like this and you want to keep doing it, I recommend that you only do it up to whatever materials you have the least. So in this case, I have the least of the cord. I have 32 cord. So I'm going to do half of that, which is like around 15. I'm just going to do 15 until I have 15 left. Then stop. If you pass it, it's fine, nothing's gonna happen, but I do recommend when you're doing this glitch, always do half of the least of the materials you have, because whenever I was doing this glitch, I discovered that if you do it all the way until you ran out of materials completely, it'll stop doing the glitch and you won't earn all the materials infinitely as you should be able to. So in order for you to be able to do this infinitely and actually stock up your inventory fully, don't make just make sure you don't uh do way much more than half of the least of the materials you got so that you can actually stock up your inventory fully so we're gonna go ahead and keep doing this until our inventory is full so right now our least that, that i have is 100 so i'm gonna do up to 50 and then pick up all the materials All right, I did a round 50, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all the materials. See, now my inventory is full. I'm gonna do it just a little bit more, just so that I have extra materials out here for whenever I come back. I don't have to pick it up out of my inventory, my chest, so I don't have to get, go get it one by one. That way I have them out here, ready to go. Whenever I come back, I can keep doing this glitch. So I'm going to leave uh, those materials right here. Alright, I'm going to drop some granite and pick up one of these instead. That way I have all the materials ready to go. I do recommend building a shed just for this glitch and stock up all the way as much as you can. If you want a lot of materials, build the big, big, big shed. If you want small, just pick a small one, I guess. Um, I did use um, uh, this beachy fence just to mark half because half of this is this side is plank 
and the other half over here, I have the cord. I started separating the granite into another room. I recommend you do the same because the granite does stock up in 50s. So it'll stock up a lot slower than the cord and the plank. I use this blue this blue fence which is from the burger set diner um, if you don't have these obviously you can just use like a normal plank um, uh, railing something like this just to mark it I just use it to mark it to know where I left off for example I put this one right here so this is where I know I left off and that's where I'm gonna keep stocking up so this is where I left off I'm gonna put my granite right here And this is where I left off with the plank. So I'm going to fill up my plank right here. This is where I left with the cord. So I'm going to stock up right here. It's just so that you don't lose um, a sight of uh, where you left off. And it's easier to remember. Or if you don't remember, it's easier to spot. I did build a second floor and uh, started to build a third floor just in case I needed even more. I'm going to keep stocking up until I run out of space here. And that's pretty much it guys. If you do like this content, please make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.